this tutorial you'll need a red and white acrylic yarn this one is red heart super saver and this one is i love this yarn from hobby lobby a pair of scissors and a 5.5 millimeter hook you're also going to need a white chenille yarn and a yarn needle to sew the circles onto the hat so starting off with the red yarn i recommend starting off with a magic ring or you can chain three and then work into the very first chain and use that as your magic ring so this is how I like to do my magic ring. I like to hold it with these fingers here and then wrap it around my two fingers in an X shape like this. Flip it over, take my hook, go under the first loop, grab that second loop, pull it through, twist it up like that. And then you're gonna pull your working yarn through there. So once you have your magic ring, you're going to chain two. I already chained one there, so I'm going to chain one more. So this chain of two does not count as a stitch. It's more of a filler stitch. So we're going to start by placing 12 double crochet into the magic ring. So to double crochet, you just yarn over, go through the ring, yarn over, pull through. So you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the first two loops and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And that's one double crochet. So you're gonna do that again until you have 12 double crochet in total. So once you have your 12 double crochet, you can pull on the tail gently to close the ring. Don't pull too tight because you don't want your yarn to snap. And then we're going to end every round with a slip stitch into the very first double crochet that we made. So push your hook through that first double crochet, yarn over and pull through, and then pull that first loop through the second loop. And that's a slip stitch. Now we're gonna start every round with that chain of two. And we're gonna make our first double crochet into the same space, the same first double crochet. So that's one double crochet into the first stitch. Now we're gonna yarn over and place another double crochet into the very same stitch. An increase is two stitches into the same stitch, so that's our first increase. We're going to do that in every single stitch all the way around until we have a total of 24 stitches. So when you move on to the next stitch, make one double crochet, and then a second double crochet into that same stitch. And we're going to do that for every stitch. So once you reach the end of round two and you have 24 stitches, you can make that slip stitch into the very first double crochet. Now for round three, we're gonna start with that chain of two and one double crochet into the first stitch. So we have one double crochet, and now in the next stitch, we're gonna make two double crochet stitches. So the pattern for round three is double crochet, increase. One double crochet, increase. One double crochet, increase. So we're gonna make one double crochet in the next stitch, and then two double crochet in the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around until we have a total of 36 stitches. So I've reached the end of round three. I have 36 stitches. I already made my slip stitch up top. Chain two. And for round four, the pattern is gonna be double crochet, double crochet, increase. 
double crochet, double crochet, increase. So we're gonna start with that double crochet in the same first stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. And then two double crochet in the third stitch. And we're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around until we have a total of 48 stitches. I've reached the end of round four. Moving on to round five, we're gonna do another chain of two. Start with that first double crochet into the first stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. And then two double crochet into the fourth stitch. So the pattern for round five is double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, increase. Three double crochet and then an increase. We're gonna do that all the way around until we have a total of 60 stitches. Once you reach the end of round five, you can make your slip stitch and your chain of two. Now for round six, we're gonna make increases again, but this time instead of increasing every fifth stitch like we normally would, we are actually gonna make nine double crochet and then we're gonna increase in the 10th stitch. So make your first double crochet in that first stitch. And we're gonna make nine in total to start off. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once you have those nine double crochet, we're gonna make our increase in the 10th stitch. So we're gonna make two double crochet in the next stitch. One and two. So we're gonna increase like that a total of six times all the way around. And when we're done, we should have a total of 66 stitches. So once you reach the end of round six, this is where I'm gonna stop increasing and I'll show you the measurement for reference. So for reference, my circle is about seven and a half inches or 19 and a half centimeters. That's how big I need for my head. If your head is bigger, you can add more increases. If it's smaller, you can add less increases. I'm gonna start making seven rounds of one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So you can give your brain a little bit of a rest here. Just start every row with that chain of two and make your first double crochet into that very first stitch. And then just continue to make one double crochet in every stitch all the way around the hat. Once you finish making seven rounds of this, I'll meet you back to show you how to do the brim. So I just finished my seven rows of double crochet. So this is what your hat should look like so far. And now I'm gonna show you how to do the brim. So just like all the other rows, we're gonna start with that chain of two. And now we're gonna work into the front loops only. So we're gonna start with one double crochet into the front loop only of the first stitch. So normally we would go under both loops like that, but we're just gonna go under the front loop like that. 
and then complete your double crochet. So one double crochet in that first front loop and now in the next front loop we're going to make two double crochet. So in the front loop only make one double crochet and another double crochet under the same front loop. And we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around, remembering to work into just the front loops. So one double crochet, two double crochet. Once you've completed that round, you can slip stitch to the first double crochet. Start with that chain of two. Now for this next round, we're going to work into both loops again. So that last round we worked into the front loops only, so it created this little line right here. So for this round, we're going to work into both loops again like normal, starting with one double crochet in that first stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to make two double crochet in the third stitch so the pattern for this round is double crochet double crochet increase two double crochet and then an increase and we're going to repeat that all the way around and then I'll meet you back here for the very last round of double crochet. And now we've reached our very last round. So this is our brim. It's gonna be a little bit curly like you see in the thumbnail. If you want it even curlier than this, you can add another row of increases. If you want it less curly and more straight, then you can add less increases. But for the very last round with the red yarn, I'm gonna start with that chain of two and I'm just gonna pop one double crochet stitch in every single stitch all the way around the brim. Okay, so I just finished my last row of double crochet. I'm going to end here with a slip stitch, chain one, and then I'm going to snip my yarn. Pull that through. So that's the base of our bucket hat. So now I'm going to grab my white chenille yarn and I'm going to attach it to the brim. So I have my white yarn here and I'm going to attach it to the brim. I'm going to go under my very last double crochet that I made. Pull that white yarn through. And then I'm just going to tie this off with a knot. And then I'm going to grab my hook, push it through that same stitch, pull my yarn through, and start with a chain of one. I'm going to weave in these yarn tails as I go, and I'm just going to make one single crochet in every single stitch all the way around the brim. So I'm going to start in that same stitch and just make one single crochet. And then this is my slip stitch here. I'm gonna go under the double crochet stitch. So instead of going under the slip stitch, just go under the stitch and make your single crochet. And then just continue to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, weaving in those tails as you go. So 
So once you've reached the end of your single crochet row, you can slip stitch to the first single crochet that you made, chain one, and then snip your yarn here. So at this point you can weave in this yarn tail as well as the yarn tail from the very beginning. Go ahead and weave those in and then I'll show you how to make the little circles that we're going to sew onto the hat. So grab your white acrylic yarn. I recommend starting with a magic ring. Again, for the circles, you also have the option to chain three and then work into that first chain. But I'm starting with the magic ring. We're going to start with a chain of two. So that's my chain two. And we're going to start with 10 double crochet into the magic ring. And again, your chain two does not count as a stitch. So make 10 double crochet. Once you have your 10 double crochet, you can tighten the ring, slip stitch to the first double crochet, chain two, and then just like we did for the hat, we're going to make an increase in every stitch. So we're going to make two double crochet in every single stitch, starting with that very first double crochet. Once you reach the end of round two, you should have 20 stitches. You can slip stitch to the first double crochet. For the small circles, you're going to stop here, chain one, and then cut a tail long enough to sew it onto the hat. For the large circles, start with another chain of two. Make one double crochet into the first stitch, and then increase in the next stitch. and repeat that all the way around until you have 30 stitches. You're gonna make two large circles and three small circles. Once you have 30 stitches for the large circles, you can chain one and again, cut a tail long enough, a little bit longer than the small circles to sew it onto the hat. So I have my three small circles and my two large circles. I'm gonna show you how I sew them onto the hat starting with one of the large circles. All right, so I have my bucket hat here. I weaved in the yarn tail from my brim. I'm just gonna brush off my fuzzies. Now, starting with the large circle, you can thread your yarn needle. I'm gonna put my hand under my hat like this and I like to start sewing this from the top and I'm going to start to sew between the second and third rows here. So I'm just going to push my hook under a stitch like that and then start to pull through. And once that's on, I can kind of place it where I want it to be. So I like to go under this, under the stitch under the red stitch and then I'm going to go under one of the white stitches and pull that through. And while you're going in between the stitches, just make sure you're placing it where you want it to be so you can make sure that it's centered. And I'm just going to do that under all the stitches. So I kind of just look at where the next stitch is falling 
and go underneath the stitch that's right underneath it. Pull that through and then I go underneath the white stitch that's right above it. And pull that through and take your time with this it doesn't have to look super perfect just make sure the circle is falling where you want it to okay so i just went under my last white stitch up here and that's how it looks when it's sewn on, very secure. So now I'm just gonna go through my hat, pull the yarn through underneath, and then inside the hat is where I'm gonna fasten off. So I'm gonna pull that, make sure that that's tight. And then to fasten off, I'm just gonna go under any stitch that's right next to it pull my yarn through but not all the way so make sure there's a loop right here and then I'm going to push my needle through that loop and just pull that yarn through to make a little knot and then I'm going to do that one more time so I'm going to go underneath pull my needle and the yarn through but not all the way make sure there's a little loop there and then I'm going to Pull my needle and my yarn through that loop to make a little knot and that's how I fasten off and then to hide the tail I'm gonna go underneath make sure my yarn is between the white part and the red part and then pull through so make sure you can't see your yarn through on the other side and then I'm just going to pull gently and snip the yarn right there. It should spring back into the hat between your red and white part. So now when you turn it back onto the right side, your circle is attached. So now I'm going to attach all the other circles the same way and I'm going to make sure that they're evenly spaced. So once they're all spaced out evenly, I'll show you exactly where I put all of them. Okay, so I just finished sewing all the circles onto my hat. So this is the one that I sewed on first and then a smaller one right next to it, another small one next to that, another large one, and then one small one in between those. So that's what it looks like little 360 and yeah they're pretty evenly spaced the brim is cute and curly if you guys liked this tutorial let me know in the comments let me know what other tutorials you guys would like to see if you make this hat tag me on instagram at alina crochets so i can see your work and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye